Here are some more really powerful batteries, 2S for um, racing, competition racing. So it'll be worth uh, comparing them side by side, see which come out the top. Uh, today I'm going to compare Phantom with Aramax. Um, these are the latest batteries from both uh, companies. Um, you've got two uh, big ones and two smaller ones. This is 7800 100C for the Phantom and a 7810C for the Aramax. And then you've got a 6200 100C again for the Phantom and a 6130C for the Aramax. Now the um, Phantom batteries have 5mm connectors with uh, they come with uh, the little adapters uh, as well to convert to 4. The Aramax still using 4mm. They've got um, sockets that go all the way through Oops, on the Aramax and on the Phantom they're just on one side and it's a plus and minus that way round, plus and minus this way round so sometimes uh, the other way round but um, if you put borrow them and put them in your car and you're not careful you can connect some batteries up incorrectly so always check the positive and negative so I'm going to start by charging one of them up and putting them on the discharger The Phantom uh, 7800 has just finished charging from flat, it's taken 7488 milliamps to charge it up. And now I'm going to test it as before, put it on the discharger, it starts about 40 amps, and uh, write down all the results. Um, at the end, uh, record the voltages all the way through and then then uh, do the others and uh, compare them at the end, see what their voltages hold up and see what capacity they also give us. So we'll start with this one. we we'll get the reading as soon as we plug it in. Gone up to 7.63. Then it's uh, dropped to 7.57. Uh, at 35 amps, and then I read it at 600 milliamps, one amp, etc., all the way through. Just coming to the end of the discharge, we take it off at 6.0 volts. There, it made 8.041 ampere hours. The Phantom 6200 100C, fully charged. Just come off the charger. Seven point seven seven. Oh, in a good voltage, seven point seven six. Twenty five amps. There you go. Made six thousand two hundred and about fifty. And there's the battery there. It's hardly um, warm at all. It's only about 26 and a half degrees centigrade. Did check the um, internal resistance as well on the um, on this meter over here. Came out to um, not uh, no, no, one about 1.45 milliohms. I tested the, uh, the 6200 on there. The Aromax 7800 uh, 110C 7.57 and it's saying at 7.57 at the moment which is good. It's just going Go. 7.698 698 at 6 volts Okay 
Here's the battery temperature. About 32, 33 degrees C. IR, excuse me, about 1.0. 0.02, 1.01, that's quite low, that's straight after discharge. The Aramax uh, 6000, the 130C one, which we, we expect to be uh, really, really uh, good. In. 7.83 to start. It's dropped to 7.76. Just coming up to the end of the discharge on the Aramax 6000. Uh, it's already past 6000. It's now at 6200 milliamps and it's just about up to go. It's at 6.4 volts. Uh, we check it at 6.0. Goes pretty quick when it hits. 6.0 made 6,327 at 6 .0 volts. There's the Aramax now. Let's just check the temperature. It's only warm. Just 27 degrees centigrade. And we can check the uh, internal resistance just move and see it's showing about 1.01 1 which is really quite nicely low as a comparison I've got the uh, the nanotech ultimate 6.690 C which is uh, a very good battery and uh, I'll put the results for those as well Six point seven, I mean seven point seven, shot to seven point six three, and we are made six thousand eight hundred and seventy four. About 26 degrees C, and we're going to measure the internal resistance as, as it's come off on this very sensitive meter. About 1.2. Another test uh, comparison battery I'm going to do is with a Eternity 7.5 Graphene uh, 90C. I've just charged this, just come off the charger. So ambient temperature. And uh, now this isn't new. This is my race pack. I'm going to see if it's lost any performance. Um, it's been used uh, for some number of races, so I'm going to just see how it performs. Because normally this was a class leading uh, battery. So get ready to go. It's gone straight up to 7.72, then it's dropped to. Seven seven. Uh, as you can see, it's just over nearly thirty six amps, and then I can measure it all the way through and uh, compare it to the others. Okay, it's starting to go. Um, 7.432 nearly um, 
27.8, nearly 28, up, I'll round it up to 28 degrees. This battery, by the way, is um, not very flat. It uh, rocks badly. It's swollen. I haven't been abused, but... Uh, let's measure the internal resistance while it's hot on this meter here. I'm stabilizing about 1.42. The results and conclusions of the tests on these latest breed of uh, batteries available for competition racing. They're 2S LiPos, very high power, 90 to 130C. And whether or not uh, one is better than another and um, what application in racing uh, is going to be the best one. So um, I divide them into two columns here. You've got the 6,600. 6,200 and a 6,000 here, uh, Aramax, Phantom and Turnigy and on this side we've got a 7,800, 7,800, 7,800 and 7,500 which is the IP, Phantom, Aramax and the Turnigy Graphene. So and here are all the results I've done. On the voltage under heavy current discharge, which one holds the voltage up the higher? And uh, we can compare various uh, facts and figures. Um, now, the main reason uh, I do this is really for um, so-called blinky or um, zero time in racing, where uh, you can't have any boost uh, advanced time input on from the speedo. So you're relying on the performance, really, of the motor and the battery. And so, um, especially in 17.5 turn, and also 13.5 turn, uh, the higher the voltage that you can get out of your battery, the quicker you're going to go, compared to someone else, all things being equal. Now, in a 17.5 turn, you use up about uh, 2,000 milliamps, or uh, I've written two here, two ampere hours, in a race that's about five minutes long. Um, in a 13.5 and um, you might use say uh, three ampere hour. So uh, looking at the um, results from up to three ampere hour for the 13.5 and 75 turn blinky was the um, it, so you've got the start of the race and towards the end of the race you still want to get maximum voltage out of your um, batteries to keep going at the best speed possible. So looking uh, just from there to there, we're going to look for the ones that have the highest voltage at the end of the race. Now, at two and a half to three, if you look at three, for instance, 7.2 volts, 718, 724, 718s. So it seems clear, say, for a 35 turn, uh, this, these two and the one at the top seem to perform the best. And at 2 ampere hours, say for um, a 17.5, you've got 737, 731, 31, 37, 37, 31, 31. So it seems uh, clear, even at 2 ampere hour, the top one and these two seem to be the best. So um, let's see what they are. The top one is the IP 7800. And these two are the Phantom, New Phantom 6200C and the Aramax 6130C. And surprisingly, they've beaten the higher capacity ones, except for the IP one. They've held up the voltage better. The only place uh, where the big battery might just score is right at the very start. Let's have a look. 7.7. .7. Uh, let's look at the instant drop. That's after a few seconds. 7.63. 7, 5, 7, 7, 7, 5, 7, 7, 7, 6, 7, 7, 6, 7, 7, 70. So no, even at the start, these two and that one hold up the voltage better. So it seems to me that um, if you want the very latest and best batteries uh, for um, 17.5 and 25 pound Linky, uh, those three seem to be the best. And what about the rest of the figures? So weight-wise... The IP is 325 grams, Phantom only 306 and it's 313, so these two are slightly lighter. Um, 
you can see the ratings 100 to 100 130 so the aramax 130c hasn't really uh, made any difference over the 100 c rated ones so what else uh, could so which one to buy so what else to consider what about the cost well in this country at the moment uh, these two cost about 85 UK pounds and this one this a uh, 7800 SV1 is um, not a recent not the most recent battery so it's still selling quite cheap 70 pounds but it is heavier so um, looking just briefly at the uh, Turnigy, the nanotech and the graphene uh, because you buy them direct from the manufacturer hobby king online they can be quite a lot cheaper so the performance isn't bad it's just a tiny bit down so if you want to save money you can still buy these online uh, basic 90c and they still obviously will give you really b good performance um, but if you want the very best at the moment um, if, unless your car is very much underweight and you want to use like heavier battery uh, looks like these two are the choice now what about modified racing and other forms of racing that use a lot more capacity well these go right up to um, nearly 8,000 milliamps a modified motor competition racing touring cars it's not so critical to have fantastic uh, uh, voltage because you've got so much power uh, the start voltage you tend to not even want to charge it fully in most uh, cases so um, it's just a choice then other forms of racing maybe buggies or something or, or, or some other form you can go for maximum capacity if you want but um, even these six thousands they made over six thousand milliamps six thousand um, 6,250, 6,327 and the big ones these made uh, the IP which should be a 7.8 made just under just under 7,400 and uh, the Phantom was the best just over 8,000 milliamps I also tested some of the internal resistances on these batches after after uh, discharging when they're hot and I've also tested some when they're uh, ambient I don't find it is a totally accurate uh, indicator of performance um, for instance the Phantom and the Aramax uh, the Aramax was one milliohm when hot which is a pretty good figure uh, oh yeah the 1.46 I don't think I did that when it was hot uh, the Nanotech Ultimate 6.6 was 1.2 when hot and the Graphene was only 1.41 so um, it's quite difficult to measure the IR when it's really really low I did get a figure of 0 0.5 on the IP and I checked it a few times it's very very low but uh, it didn't really make any difference to the voltage uh, as it was discharged so that's that's the state of play at the moment obviously there are lots of more batteries and makes on the market these are the ones i've just happened to test and uh there is your phantom and your aramax which seem to be just edging out now the nanotech 66 uh in that size and weight category and in this one this ip7800 sv1 is as good as these but um, heavy like these others and uh, surprisingly these two didn't um, beat the slightly lower capacity in performance except for capacity and there's the graphene my graphene one which I race with so that is the result at the state of play at the moment and uh, those are all the figures